Hey guys, welcome back to CenturyCraft. Uh, we're here at our uh, future shopping uh, plaza here, and we're going to continue work on some more shops. I'm not going to do the interior of this one quite yet, because I'm not quite sure what I want to do for this build quite yet. Like, I don't, what kind of shop is going to go in here yet until I start building the other ones. I'll have a better idea. I think it's going to be a um, grocery store, like a, like a high-end grocery store, but I'm not quite sure. I'm going to start building another shop, and I'll be back with you guys in just one moment. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, we AFK'd overnight at the shop farm, and we got all this slime. So I'm going to toss this slime into our chest. Did we get any sales today? We got no sales yet, but these double chest these chests are probably going to turn into double chests, and they're going to be completely filled with... Um, well, I mean, at least the other one's going to be completely filled. Hold on. Yeah, so we're going to fill these guys up, and then so people have plenty of slime in case they want to shop around for some. I don't see anybody in the foreseeable future to use up all the slime unless they have like a huge project where they want to build with slime. And if they do, hey, fellow Centurions, start building with slime. Uh, three three diamonds a stack. It's a, it's a steal. So anyways, guys, I'll meet up with you guys in just a moment when I start building this next, uh, next shop. See you soon. All right, guys, we're here at Amardone's Dark Oak Tree Park here, and we are going to be making a purchase here because I need some dark oak. I need, yeah, let's just get two stacks of this because I'm going to, I'm going to need it. So, yeah, there's that two stacks of dark oak. Let's I actually have no room, so we're just going to put this in here for right now. So we can take that, and then I'm gonna show you the build when I get a little bit for a little more progress on it in just a moment. Hey guys, we're here at Helix's brand new shop that he just opened up. It says it says temporary, so we're just gonna take a look in here. What the price is? One diamond, a stack of rockets. Hmm, that seems a little pricey. A little pricey for me. Uh, it's not really. Hmm, it's maybe if they're like two or three die two or three stacks for a diamond maybe i'd go for it but i my light chair doesn't have mending or unbreaking three on it and i don't really need the rockets so for for me that's just a not, not a good buy unless i'm like doing like a tour around like something but i don't really have anything big yet to get around other than the gold farm but the gold farm is already finished so we're going to keep an eye on that we're going to see if the prices drop maybe in the future for that and yeah, so I'm going to continue working on this. I did get some more work done. I don't know if you guys have seen it since I've finished doing the outside part right here. I'm working on the interior right now. I'm trying to figure out a good floor and maybe the walls, change the walls out a little bit. I don't know if I want to keep the same uh, smooth, uh, smooth sandstone as I have in this building right here. I might switch it over to another... Um, color palette. I'm not quite sure what that color palette would be if, at this moment. And now I'm going to sit here and ponder for a moment and uh, think what I'm going to do with this. And I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. So I was going through my chests and I realized I just wasted two diamonds because I, I don't actually need these torches either. Uh, I already had Dark Oak over here. So uh, Amadorn, you have two diamonds on me today because I derped up and didn't look through all of my shulker boxes so I'm going to continue our build here if I haven't really improved that interior I haven't really figured out what I'm going to do for this I'm I want to make this a staircase up to the next level up but I haven't figured out what I want to do this is not this room is not gonna be that big I'm probably gonna put a wall like right here going across but I haven't quite figured out if I want to use stairs or if I want to use what kind of stairs I want to use, or half slabs, or I'm not quite sure what I want to do here. This is too close, but you get the kind of idea what I'm working with here. I'm not quite sure. Hmm. Let me continue to think about this for a second. I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, we're back. I am giving you a little progress update. A little progress update of what we have so far here. Uh, this is going to be our gold shop. I'm going to have like a little guard standing here, uh, and then I'm going to have a little shopkeeper on like a little platform right here i'm starting to get the redstone in for this i'll show you that in just a second here but yeah i was i i changed my mind i thought mm, maybe it should be the gold shop instead and i worked out this neat uh pretty neat uh floor pattern with coal and polished diary i think it looks pretty okay with against the walls i think the walls are a little plain for right now i don't know if i'm gonna decorate them yet but i'm, I'm gonna figure something out probably like 
like a uh, end uh, what's it called picture frame not picture frames item frames like maybe gold or like gold things and that picture frame and stuff like that golden carrots and stuff like that like like a jewelry store basically this is what I'm going for but yeah I'm going to uh, continue to work on the redstone and then I'll show you how it works in just a minute all right guys we're back uh, I'm it's slight I mean this is not very far from where we were just at a minute ago but I was came back here and I was like hmm I'm missing some iron here. I need some. Uh, I'm all out of iron, and this is a problem because I first off I don't have my bucket. I don't know where that one. Probably one of the times I died, it it disappeared that time. Uh, it don't don't mind the hole here. Don't mind the gap here. But I want to put a metal trap door here, and then I'm going to kind of explain how this works in just a minute here. But the metal trap door. It, I think it would match well with this white. It's kind of whitish looking. And then we're going to have a water stream going up this. And kind of how this is going to work is you're going to... This is a cash register, by the way. And we're going to have on a slab, like right here, a armor stand. Like this. Hold on. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ooh, I didn't know they can catch on fire. An armor stand kind of like this, and he's going to be the cashier for you, and he's going to have like a little head on my head on him, a little uh, custom head on him or something like that. And uh, wh what works is there's going to be a button on the floor right here, and you're going to press the button once, just once, and then the your order is going to come out of uh, a, a bubble elevator, which is going to push your items up to the top through a tra trap door, and you stand on top of the trap door and you get your items and then you press the button again if you press the button more than once I'm gonna take your diamond you're gonna lose diamonds basically you can't you only press it button once what happens is you put your item you, let's say you have diamonds you put them in the chest I don't have a filter up right now so I don't want to put anything in the chest but it'll hold the diamonds in place until you make it your final decision to buy once you make the decision to buy you press the button once It'll withdraw the correct amount of diamonds for the shop you're in. Then, uh, a couple seconds later, the items will be distributed over into a, something where there's a um, trap door. Uh, in the sh all the shops, there's going to be a trap door uh, where you can stand and get collect all your items that are coming out. But yeah, so that's what's the general pr idea of this little shop uh, setup right here. The light on, the light's going to be on, is, is going to be... That we have stock so if let's say we're selling in this in this gold shop i'm not quite sure how much we're going to charge for gold yet but let's say we're charging uh one diamond for 16 blocks okay as long as we have 16 blocks in stock this light will be on always so as long as there's 16 blocks that we can give to someone uh, for, for somebody to buy it will be on all the time. So if someone puts a diamond in here, hits the button, and then the 16 blocks come up and then the light's off, that means we're out of stock. So that's that's what kind of what the light means. It doesn't mean, right now it's off because, I mean, I turn it off, but it's off because we don't have any stock right now of, of gold. And I haven't set a really a price. I'm gonna set a price right above it, like a little sign saying uh, what it is. And I'm going to eventually make a book kind of explaining how this works, how the how the, the shopping in this area works. That's why I haven't really... Um, here's kind of the redstone behind it if you want to take a look here. Uh, what's going on? Uh, if It's hard to explain for me, but I'll try my best. This is a um, item filter right here. Right here. This is just a standard item uh, uh, impulse SV item filter right here. Uh, not the two two uh, deep one, just the one deep one. Um, not this is impulse SVS. Impulse has a, the two one, the one that blocks from uh, backing up. This one will back up, but people aren't going to invest that many diamonds in it. And it has a uh, with this button that this is the right above the button. And when you press the button, this uh, observer comes out and gives a one tick pulse. And if I can get up here. Uh, the one tick pulse goes in here into the red uh, the repeater which turns off the torch unlocking the hopper uh, filter so what happens is that 
the filter is it's it's a filter to stop uh, the wrong kind of item for getting in, and it's also a filter. Uh, it's also a stopper so you can put your items in the chest and it's just press the button once so you don't have to keep so we can continue so we can count how many times someone purchases an item I don't know if I'm going like too deep into this but I'm trying to explain the best I can let's say let's say someone puts a, a dirt in the box well the dirt's not going to go into the item filter so when they press the button the item filter gets unlocked with this system that lets perfectly one item through. Because dirt is not an acceptable means, the dirt will stay in the chest. Next, let's say they take the dirt out and then they throw, let's say, acacia logs. Acacia logs are acceptable in this in this theory. That's it's like a, let's say it's a diamond. Di this would be this is a diamond. Diamonds are accepted in this filter, so the the fil it'll go through. The system and once it does uh, it will because because they press the button it will this will unlock the hopper for the permanent hopper so then the item filter comes into play so the item filter pulls it down and goes oh yeah we can use that and then shoots it down to the hopper directly below that and when that happens it sends a redstone signal to this torch through this torch we're gonna have an output to a uh, setup and I'll show you that in a couple minutes here of uh, some droppers uh, dropping items off which will go into a uh, water stream and that water stream will eventually end up right here pushing items up uh, it's a kind of a neat little design that I came up with I'm not I haven't seen anybody else uh, do this sort of design yet but I it doesn't mean that they haven't done it before but it's only this design uh, can go for multiple items but you kind of have to configure it with this hot this um, this uh, you have to get the timings right with your uh, can't think of a name repeater with your repeater you have to get the timings right with your repeater so it allows more items to filter through and then the system will be um, on for a little bit longer there you kind of have to change your timings on all of your things but it's very manageable for multiple items and as long as they're not pressing the button more than once you have, that's the thing you have to you have to be very specific press the button only once if you press the button only once i get more diamonds you lose diamonds that's that's the that's the thing about it that's the thing about the redstone uh, thing is i can't protect you if you get a little crazy and press the button multiple times with diamonds in the chest you're gonna lose them i'm sorry so that's the the one downfall of this design but i i'm okay with that i'm okay i'm okay with getting extra diamonds for people being uh too quick on the the uh, button pressing uh but yeah i'm going to uh oh i forgot to tell you the main reason why we're all out of iron like like before i was trying to tell you before we're all out of iron and this is a problem because i need it for the trap door i need it for to finish up a couple of things for the redstone below uh and i don't have really the time to continue doing this tonight and go gather all the iron that i need I don't even know how I'm going to gather it up. I, I guess I will just go caving. I am also, um, if you look at my chest, I'm, I am also low on uh, uh, diamonds as well. I only have two blocks of diamonds. So I might go caving. There's a Depth Strider book, but I might go caving for that in the next episode and just spend all next episode caving for uh, more resources. Because, uh, I, like I was, bef like I said, I, like I said, what's going to happen before, I am now. Uh, bottleneck through uh, the, the my lack of uh, my lack of iron. I knew it was gonna happen again, uh, but it, it ended up happening again. <laughs> so uh, I hope so future. I hope soon someone sets up an iron farm. If if someone does not set up an iron farm in like the next week, I'm gonna set up a, a phoenix. Like that'll be like I'll skip my future projects. And have gold and iron as my projects. Like I will sell gold and iron. I will be like a metallic alloy master. I'm not quite sure where I'm going with that, but yeah. Uh, so, anyways, I'm going to uh, call the episode here for today. Uh, just that I I finished this 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 part of this building here. Not much was done today, unfortunately. We did get some good design with this right here going on. I really like the way this looks. This whole outside section right here and this right here i do need to figure out some lighting in here i don't think this uh uh 
Uh, chandelier is really going to do it. I, I don't like to play the dark corners too much, but we'll figure that out a little bit later. I do like... Uh, you don't. I don't like the top, the the chandeliers in here, so I'm gonna remove them and then change them for some other design in here. This is also kind of an example. This can be where the shopkeeper is for this one right here. And I did decide what I'm gonna use this this one for. It's gonna be our produce one. I'm gonna make this like a uh, grocery store, and there's gonna be our multiple uh, things here. So like for instance, this would be carrots, and then this would be uh, potatoes, and that would be uh melons and then that would be uh, it's it's not measured out correctly but it would be when we get it done but and then that would be uh melon uh melons and melons and pumpkins i always mix those two i always mix those two up for some reason uh and that would be what the shop is that's not perfectly aligned the way i want it but that's kind of the same the same premise with the redstone as we um had before over on the other shop is what we'd have in this one where you say i'd say i'm selling uh melons for like eight stacks for this is not a correct thing but like eight stacks for one diamond you press the button and like somewhere let's say right here i'll set a trap thing up here and then you can and then when you see them pop up right here you can press the button again to get your get more melons uh, but yeah, that's kind of uh, the idea for over here. I did add, expand this out a little bit over here. Uh, I just did add, add the same sort of feature I did over there right here. I don't know. I think I'm going to make this one the stairwell. I think I'm just going to put a stairwell up right here to go to the, the upper floors. Uh, but I did also want to kind of crack a hole into this right here. Yeah, into this right here and kind of make a like back room where like they're storing all the produce at over here uh, so like maybe like break this open a little bit more and like I don't know I'd make like a produce section of back here like a little mini little warehouse like right here and maybe goes down towards that right there I'm not quite sure I might leave that gap right there for our alley project our future Rotten Flush Alley project we're not going to talk about right now for right now. But yeah, anyways, uh, I got lots of plans for this build right here. I, I'm sorry I didn't really build a whole bunch this episode. I did a lot of thinking about this room right here. I probably spent like two, three hours just thinking about a floor pattern for this room. I I don't know why it took me so long to settle on the coal and the, uh, the uh, diorite. I, I spent like... I swapped floor designs like six times and then I went into a creative world and I was like sandstone here's sandstone what goes good to sandstone okay these bright colors don't really fit with what I'm trying to do right here anyways that's a long that long story short uh, I like to thank you guys all for watching I hope you guys have a wonderful day and ta-ta for now